Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to rig the character and we're going to rig the character and paint the skin weight so that the rig and the bones deform the mesh correctly. We're gonna add this handle so that we can control the jaw and he can open up his mouth and we're gonna be able to grab the eyes and uh, control them separately than the entire head. Um, we're going to also grab the joint, the head joint, and we'll be able to control the entire head and move the head, undo, undo. So this is fully rigged, uh, fully customizable. You can um, animate the eyebrows separately. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. I am going to start by adding some texture, some colors to the character. I'm gonna grab all the skin textures and just create a blend. Just I'm just going to use the very basic Maya materials. And this is the blend. I'm gonna call this skin. Uh, give it a color. It's a skin color. A beige. Right about there. And what I'd like to do is introduce you to the highlight and so the highlights are right here the specular shading the specular highlight is right here in the blend material i am going to increase it a little bit and uh, less strength decrease the specular roll off the, the strength of it and then add a color to the specular highlight so um, the color will be pink and so I'm gonna create a pink specular highlight about there so that you can see a little bit of pink when the light hits it cool uh, let's go ahead and do the eyes let's create another blend let's call this eyes Go give them dark uh, brown eyes. Very slightly to the orange side. Lighten it up and then start bringing it up. Dark brown eyes. Cool. Uh, and let's work on the highlight. The, the specular highlight will be very, very tight. Not this way. So I'm going to decrease it and increase the specular roll off so that it's um, very, very intense. I am also going to increase the color to make it very, very bright. And then of course, this is the only one that takes absolute white as a highlight. And so here we go, here we have the highlights, maybe even a tiny bit less we're gonna do a little bit less, just slightly. There we go, I like that better. The tongue, let's create a blend. Again, let's call it tongue. Um, a light pink. And for the highlight, I am going to increase the highlight uh, decrease the saturation and give it a color and for the color I am going to do uh, something a little bit redder than this go a little bit more very very slight and you can see the highlight in there it's not white it's cool so the hair I'm going to grab the eyebrows, the hair, and the bangs. Let's go ahead and create yet another blend. We're going to create the color, maybe a light brown. Let's uh, do a light brown. And let's play with the highlights. No, I don't like this highlight. It shouldn't be that shiny. So I'm going to increase it. Uh, increase the highlight. Decrease the intensity and change the color 
change the color to maybe even a yellow like this see that it just adds so much interest uh, if you play around with the highlights like that uh, and then the teeth the teeth let's go ahead and create the teeth um, let's create another blend teeth uh, let's color them white because he does brush his teeth and then the specular highlight white you can see the specular highlight we're gonna decrease it we're gonna uh, increase the intensity and then just increase the brightness so the teeth are very very bright they're just as shiny as just like the eyes uh, and even the hair you know what I'm thinking that this hair uh, I think the highlights are a little too much still right there there we go and and that's the materials that's the texture and we're good with that let's go ahead and rig this character and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the side view and start go to the rigging menu shelf and I'm going to create some joints then I'm going to create some joints and I'm going to go from here to here to the base of the head and then out to here to the top and now I see that my joints are a little bit big and so what I'd like to do is go to display animation joint size I'm gonna decrease this just a tiny bit like that just so that I can work with this I'd like to go ahead and create another set of joints and this one's going to move the mouth up and down. So I'm going to click on this joint so that I can attach to the head joint. And then go to where the jaw will rotate from, which is about here. And then go out to the front of the mouth, right to there. So this joint, this joint will control the mouth. And I think that's all the joints that we need. Before we bind the skin to the joints, what I'd like to do is go to the curves, grab a curb, a circle, it's right there, and I'm gonna move it. This is the handle for the jaw. I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna hide, let's hide everything except for the joints. Just hit H. All right, so what I'd like to do is move it to the center of this joint, to this point. Uh, so I'm going to select W from my move tool, turn on snap to point, and I'd like to move it up to this point, to this point, uh, and then up the chain to that point. There it is. And so we're done. I'd like to turn this off and then bring back all of our geometry hit H and you can see that that uh, control handle is right there now the next thing I'd like to do and I'd like to control this joint with this handle grab our geometry and hide it select the handle and then select the joint and then create an orient constraint. And when you grab the handle, rotate, it should move that joint, just like that. All right, cool, it's working. Let's bring back our geometry. Just select it in the outliner, hit H to bring it back. So let's go ahead and select the joints and then select the geometry that we're going to bind it with. We'll start here with the tongue the teeth, the head, the ears, the hair, the neck, the other ear, and the bangs. Not the eyes, nor the eyebrows. We want to control those outside of what the joints will control. So having all the 
geometry that we need selected. Let's go ahead and bind, go to rigging, skin, bind skin options. We're going to um, reduce this to three and apply and close. So now the joint two is the head and that one should move the entire head and it works. We just need to do the skin weights except for the eyes and the eyebrows. And then the handle for the jaw will move the jaw up and down and it works to a certain extent. You guys, next, let's go ahead and paint the skin weights. Select the head and paint skin weights tool. Let's go to the um, tool settings and here we go. So let's go click joint number two and let's flood it with 100%. Let's go ahead and select the ear. See if we can do both ears. Uh, paint skin weights and then flood it to joint two which is the head flood it uh, same with the hair select the hair paint skin weights joint two flood it the teeth the teeth paint skin weights joint two flood it Just like that. Let's see if now head joint rotate and everything seems to be working a lot better. Cool. Except for right now we have to do right now. This doesn't control anything. Let's go ahead and uh, assign the jaw and the tongue to joint number four. I believe it is joint number four. Four. Yes. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to select the head. Joint four has nothing. And I'm going to paint the skin weights. I'm going to hold down the B key, click and hold on the left mouse button to size my paintbrush to about that size. I'm going to paint with 100%. I'm going to start painting what we are supposed to control with joint four. So uh, I know that we're going to control this, all this here, to here, and then go over to here, and then inside the mouth, in fact, I'm going to size it a little bit uh, smaller, inside the mouth, I'm going to do half the mouth there. I'm going to hide the tongue. Select the tongue. Hide it. Select the teeth. Hide it. Select the head. Paint control. And then I'm going to paint this, 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 and this. And let's see what that does. We might have to adjust it. That's okay. Let's see what that does. I'm going to select the, the handle, hit E to rotate, and I think, all right, so on this one, uh, when we go up, uh, you can see that we still have some problems with paints, uh, the, painting the skin weights. So let's go ahead and create a keyframe, just a test keyframe, frame one, and then I'm going to push this up so that we can fix his uh, his uh, mouth. So I'm going to select this paint skin weights, and we're we're painting with 100% there, and then I'm going to start erasing it. In the I don't think the it should do the center, so we're going to do half 0.5. And we're going to paint the center with half and take off some of the uh, 
right there. We're going to take off some of the control. All right, maybe even a little less. There we go. And see what that looks like. If I go to frame 10, you can see that uh, that's a little bit better. He closes his mouth a little bit better. I think all I have to do now is adjust my mesh to make the mouth uh, smile when he closes his mouth. So I just have to push these polygons down. Let's go ahead and get that done. So at um, here, all I have to do is go to the vertices, select these vertices, all of the top of the mouth, and I'm going to push it down. W, push it down like that. And then let's see how he closes his mouth now. There we go. And that's a little bit better. I think we're forgetting the tongue. So let's go ahead and uh, unhide these. And let's see what the tongue does when we... when Yeah, the tongue, go, the tongue goes with it. And so we can start animating him... Um, and the reason we didn't do the eyes, the reason we didn't skin the eyes to the head joint is because we need the eyes separate. We're going to select these and the eyebrows and parent them to the head controller. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to middle mouse click these and parent them to join two. Now when I move the joint, the head joint, when I move the head joint, now the uh, the eyes go with it. But we have a problem. The mouth opens up and that shouldn't happen. I'm going to undo that. So now we have to control this circle and parent it also to joint two. So now when we grab joint two and we, and there everything goes with it. The eyes, the controller, the, the, the jaw controller, everything goes with it. Now we are done. We can go this way or we can nod and then we grab this controller and we can open and close the mouth right there. You don't have to. You can't go a little too far because then you're, you have a problem. But we can go to there. And there he is, guys. The entire thing um, modeled, textured, and rigged. Now, and the eyes are separate so that we can grab them. Hit R and blink the eyes just by scaling them or act surprise or whatever undo also the eyebrows are separate so that we can act surprise or um mad or whatever plus on the eyebrows uh we can always go to vertex mode select the vertices and push them down. So uh, as he, you can, we can animate those uh, eyebrows and, and he can go from mad, maybe even to sad, cause he's, cause he's, um, cause he's sorry he got mad. And then there we go. So. He goes from normal to mad to sad. Um, and you can play with the eyebrows by um, animating the vertices. So I'm going to um, go ahead and 
delete these keyframes. Vertices, select these. I'm gonna delete these keyframes. Delete. Delete. Delete and delete. And that is it guys. Uh, we've modeled the character. We've textured him. We added the joints. We rigged them. And uh, we painted the skin weights. And now we have a fully functioning uh, rig character head. Again, he can animate the head every which way you want. You can animate the eyes by scaling them, making them blink. You can animate the eyebrows separately by just moving them. And you can animate the mouth by rotating this. Very, very easy. Hey guys, I hope that you liked the video. Uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.